You have to be the hero of your own story, and you can do that. Ninety percent of it is just showing up. Get there and start working. Like you're not going to feel perfect every day. got to be those days you push through and they're they're probably going to be more numerous than the days you don't and so the benefit of discipline in my eyes has always been that through discipline I get things done write down everything you want to do this is what I want you to do write down what you would like to fix about your life and then just if you're 30 pounds overweight you want to lose 30 pounds do it the right way Go start eating vegetables, monitor your calories, write down what you eat, exercise every day, force yourself to do it. The brain is the general, the troops are the body, and you get up and you do it, and then you get to write it down. Our bodies, for whatever reason, uh, most people, their associations are to avoid anything that's uncomfortable. It's so illogical because when you look at comfort and you look at success and progress and the eventual, the feelings of accomplishment and of getting past certain hurdles in, in terms of like how you feel about life, a lot of those are connected to discomfort. Like discomfort is your friend. It really is. Like discomfort and, uh, and not being happy and content with certain situations in life or certain feelings in life. One of the big problems is sitting down and doing the work. And he labels it like an enemy, he calls it resistance. Mm -hmm. You know, and that you have to sit down, you have to overcome resistance and that the pro goes to work. And it doesn't matter if you're sick, doesn't matter if you have kids, it doesn't matter what you, you're a pro and you go to work. And that, and that just, it puts it in your head that this is what I do. You have pride in that. And then when you are in front of that keyboard and you're, you're, you, got, you look down the count, it's like, put a thousand words in. You, you know, and yeah. you, you, you're doing the work. Yeah. And out of that work, gems blossom. And it's about resistance that people feel when uh, you know you should write or you know you should paint or whatever you should sculpt, whatever these things are that you, you pursue. And that there's this thing that comes up that tries to keep you from doing that, this resistance. You're not a hero in your own eyes. You're not, you're not someone who you respect. You know, you're doing what you got to do to get by, but ultimately, you're not respecting yourself. And I think we all have a certain amount of appreciation and respect for hero figures. You know, like, we all look at, like, the guy who never lies and always does the right thing and fucking helps everybody out. And that's the John Wayne character, you know, that's, that's the, right. the ultimate hero. And he's like, this is a battle that you will fight for the rest of your life. But the key is to fight it, not to give in. Don't give in to that resistance. To fight, Just to fight that resistance, and in doing so, every day you do so, you have won the battle for that day. And you will continue to fight that battle. And when you look at your own life and you don't stack up you're a thief you stole money from your wife's purse and you know you 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 you, you don't want to smoke cigarettes but you fucking have to you, you can't deal with the stress you smoke you devalue yourself you slowly start devaluing yourself you you look at yourself you realize that if you were judging yourself you would judge yourself unfavorably so no matter who you you can't pretend you're the the the, the hero of your story You can be the hero of your own story that woke up today. You can be the hero of your own story that at 40 years of age stopped, got out of bed and said, I'm not doing this anymore. Only by my instincts and only by my morals and my ideals and my mind, and I'm gonna be dead honest with myself because I'm realizing this is not gonna last forever. And I'm gonna get myself in shape and I'm gonna eat healthy and I'm gonna do this because this is this is me now
I decide that this is me. And people have to realize that you are not your past. You are not all oh, the yeah. times you fucked up. You're not all the times you were drunk. That's not you. What you, you are the person who's learned from a great deal of experience. When you're alone with your thoughts, you get an idea of what your thoughts actually are. If you live your life just acting constantly on the momentum of other people's expectations, of Ugh. you wanting to be liked by these other people, you can run into a trap and you, you, you set up a life that you didn't really want. Your life is certainly some sort of a journey. It's certainly some sort of a journey. You're trapped in this situation where you have a mortgage, you've got credit card bills, you've got student loans you have to pay, you have a bunch of shit going on that you have to continue to feed. And all that, and especially if you have a family and you have to feed them, oh my goodness. Then you're fully locked in, you can't take any chances whatsoever. And oftentimes people make the mistake of getting stuck. And it is just a tactical mistake, just like it would be a mistake if you got stuck on a video game. Just like it would be a mistake if you followed a map incorrectly and you get stuck in the woods. Your life is certainly some sort of a journey. It's certainly some sort of a journey. And we have to all be aware that when we're making journeys, we're not going to always make the right steps. And sometimes you have to back up and try again. And if you're in a position where you can't back up and try again, you've trapped yourself is people define themselves by the past. Instead of thinking about who they are now, instead of they, they still look back at a mistake they made and don't just get past that mistake, grow and learn, but dwell on it. I think oh. it defines them. I mean, th there's definitely pitfalls in life. You're gonna run into them, we all are. No, you can learn and grow if you survive. Somewhere along the line, they didn't face enough of the adversity to realize that there's sometimes you just gotta get up and get shit done. There's sometimes where you have to fucking pull yourself up and you have to push forward even if you want to stay in bed. Having that safety net just provided him with a way to stay in bed. Kept him weak. Have an opportunity. Every time things go wrong, every time things feel terrible, you have an opportunity to learn from whatever makes you feel terrible and never allow it to happen again. Push forward. The system will set out honeypots for people to get trapped in. The system will set out the ideas of retirement, the ideas of the golden years, providing you benefits, providing you a healthy work environment. Why? Well, because they want people to work for them. They don't want people to realize their own dreams and escape. They want to set it up so that you stick around, stick around in some sort of an unsatisfying world. It's up to you to see that video game problem to see that issue as it comes up on the map. No, no, I think this is a right turn. To see all the problems that could potentially lay in front of you and calculate your, your future. And then also look around all the people that didn't do it and look at the misery that they're in and learn that you don't want to be like them. And most people get stuck in these patterns or they define themselves as a person who doesn't follow through on their ideas or a person who doesn't pursue their real interests and loves. You define yourself by that. Well, you know, I guess well, I start and, things and I quit. No, you don't. No, you have started things and you quit. And it gives you a horrible sense of regret that's made you define yourself by that. You don't have to do that. If I look back on anything I've ever done, mistakes I've ever made, um, paths that I, you know, something that I put out that I didn't quite think, man, maybe I just waited three months before I released that, or maybe I should have, you know, re-edited that blog post a couple more times before I put it online, or the things that I've done have dri driven me crazy, but yelling at someone I didn't have to yell at them for, or whatever. But the, m the most important thing is always for all people to recognize that you're not who you were a year ago. You're not who you were five years ago. You're not who you were last week. So you got to regulate how much you dwell on regrets of the past. You really okay. got to be careful.
It's also directly proportionate to the amount of hardships that people face in life, their ability to face hardships. You know, and there's a lot of folks that live life on a cushy cloud of marshmallows and bullshit, and then one day something goes wrong. And then look at the people that are, have kind of taken chances and navigated their way. What do they do differently than you? What What insight into their own mistakes are they willing to delve into that you're not, that you step back and you go, you know, I just don't, I just don't want to look at myself that closely. But the person who's able to look at themselves the closest is going to get the more rational results.